Muslim leaders have thanked President Aquino for the successful peace process in Mindanao. They also called for unity and greater cooperation among residents in the region. Fred Yabanda reports. A few days before the signing of the peace agreement between the government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front, Sulu Congressman Tupai Loong goes back in time to remember how the Muslim rebellion started in the early 70s. Loong was part of the magic aid of Taosug warriors who fought government forces to start the struggle for freedom of Muslim Filipinos. The Moro National Liberation Front, led by former MNLF chief Nurmi Swari, followed much later, spreading their crusade across Mindanao. In 1972, when Marcel was declared, uh, immediately I ran to the hill and uh, take arm and uh, fight against the armed forces of the Philippines. Because uh, at the time, the uh, misconception uh, of our uh, Muslim people in, in, in the area that the intention of the government uh, is to discriminate uh, Muslim. Uh, when we started fighting against the government, there was no MNLF yet organization. Uh, what we know is uh, the group of Abu Kair Alonto, Haji Abdullah Kamlian, my brother Dr. Loong, HD, who started the organization in Ajar University in Cairo, including uh, the late Hashim Salamat. That's why we are fully aware since the beginning that there is going to have a revolution. We are only surprised when uh, Ms. Wari came in. We, we, we never expect that Ms. Wari will, will come in and join the, the revolution. Luong surrendered in 1974. Since then, he has taken the path of peace in a conflict that has spanned six administrations. The Javita massacre was the trigger of the rebellion. It was also a quest for recognition to be the equal of all Filipinos. The main reason for us to participate right away because of the Javita massacre. Mm. And we do not know really what is the reason for that massacre. So. Uh, it uh, came to our mind uh, the intention of the government is really to discriminate Muslim because all the victims of the Jabida massacre are Muslim, Tao from from Solo, to include one of my family who was, was, was involved. The signing of the peace accord on March 27 fulfills Lo Ong's dream of peace and prosperity for the people of the Bangsamoro entity to be created to replace the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao. Lo Ong and other Bangsamoro leaders have expressed their gratitude to President Aquino for resolving a conflict that has left countless casualties and affected the development of the region. Lo Ong called for unity among Muslims and Christians to make peace work for the greater national interest. We express a uh, heartfelt uh, gratitude to President Aquino uh, of uh, coming up with this initiative. This is an initiative started from his mother, when the mother, yeah. when her mother uh, go to Sulu, go out of her way uh, as President of the Republic, mm -hmm. he go to Sulu and meet Miswari in, in Sulu. At the time, I'm the governor of the province of Sulu. Uh, what we should uh, in book here is uh, the, the, the principle of peaceful coexist, whether you are Muslim or non-Muslim. Uh, this peace initiative is really for the country, not just for the Muslim or non-Muslim, but for the entire Filipino people. For the People's Television Network, this is Freddie Abando reporting.